Hey Clashes, I have tweaked the Queen Charles Super Hybrid strategy quite a bit over the last uh, couple of days. We have now more Super Warbreakers in our army composition, but the biggest change probably are the pet combination because I have tested now the Poison Desert a couple of days, or actually a couple of already weeks, I guess. And uh, I am not sure, I feel like the Poison Desert is still not good when it comes down to the targeting because for me, the Poison Desert never really shoots at defending heroes, even though if the hero is right next to it. I don't know, like for me, it's not really working. That's why I've switched away from the Poison Desert on the Warden. Instead, we have Frosty now on the uh, on the Warden. And then we have the um, Phoenix on the King, just to have more tankiness on the outside. You can use the Yak there as well. I've tested around that as well, but I just think the Phoenix has more value. So I think let's jump into some attacks and figure out if those changes actually had any impact whatsoever. But before we're jumping in there, one quick reminder, if you're buying any of those offers in the shop, you can use a creator code to support your favorite creator. And if you would like to support me and those videos which I'm putting out here, use code ITSU. Really appreciate it. But now let's dive into some attacks and figure out if those changes actually made our offense stronger. Okay, we have a teaser looking base. Isn't that quite a popular base or something? I think I have seen this base already a couple of times. So what can we do on this one? That's the big, big question. Um, we could uh, charge into the flanks. I think charging into the town hall is kind of stupid with the monolith behind the town hall. So I think we have to charge in from one of the flanks, like left side, for example. Let's do exactly that. Place the warbreak as far away as possible so it targets the corner. It does not. Let's try it again. And this is not how this worked. Okay. Still, let's see how what the next steps are. Okay, that's good. My queen is stepping in anyways. That's that's exactly what we we're hoping for. Heater's already way too light, but it's fine. Now the wall break right there. That wall break should be incredible. If it's oh yes. Okay, nice. Rage it up now. Our rage is so late. Do I need to freeze something? Nah. Nah, we, we don't need to freeze, right? <laughs> oh, good. Oh, my. Okay, that was uh, quite a bit of damage. Can we wall break? Do we even need to wall break again? I'm not even sure. Okay, clan cast is coming out. That's good. It's triple ice cream. This is really good because this gives us some time to start from the bottom side. So, this... This. Okay, one headhunter just died. That's unfortunate, but it's okay. King is tanking quite a bit. Let's use the heal right here. Okay. I think I used Queen Ability. Warning Ability in just a second. Now the Warning Ability. I think that Warning Ability was great. Use the right here. I don't really see again where my hybrid is, but that's okay. <laughs> where is my hybrid? My hybrid is in the core, it seems. Okay, that's good, that's good. Let's try to wall break again. Okay, the wall break has not really worked as intended, but it should be okay, hopefully, maybe. Maybe yes, maybe no, maybe we don't know. Let's freeze that, actually. And we have... Don't have any more wall breaks for my P.E.K.K.A. But hopefully that is fine. We have the invisibility spell, which we need to use for either the royal champ or the queen to get through the single inferno tower. If we even have to. Let's use the royal champ ability now. Come on, take... Of course... How is that even possible? There is one million troops, and obviously my royal champ is getting targeted right away from this stupid single inferno tower. This is rigged. This is rigged. <laughs> well, it's a triple anyway. Let's go, let's go. That's how we like it. And actually, we got great value of our Phoenix um, on the King. I think we had pretty decent value with our wall breaks. Yes, I failed a couple of them, but that's the nice thing, right? Like, you have the flexibility of... I mean, it's Legends. 30 seconds plan. There's a ton of things which can go wrong. So having one additional wall break is kind of nice. So, so far, I like the changes changes we did to the, to the army composition. Let's try it again. We have our first box space. There we go. Okay, so we have a dangerous looking tunnel compartment. But what do we do with that one? I feel like charging... Should we take a lot of risk? Should we just do it and try it? <laughs> I think it could be kind of fun of approaching this base from the other side. I think that could be kind of funny. Should we try? I think we would try it. It's going to be... 
Kind of crazy, but I, w I want to see if it can work. So, wall break in here. Mm. Let's see if we can make that work as well, by the way. Let me know what strategies you would like to see. I have just started with Queen Charge like super hybrid, but at the same time, if there's this other strategy which you would prefer watching, um, feel free to let me know because overall this entire series is not for me really try hard pushing, it's more for um, you guys to enjoy some some hopefully great legend attacks, right? So this is not about me going to try hard because I just don't have the time as well for building bases every single day and, and so on. So yeah, it will be mainly um, for like content and everything and that's obviously great if there's a strategy which most of you enjoy. So let's rage up again. Now let's start with that push from the top side because we are going all in <laughs> this might be so stupid but it's okay go here and just fall break here oh my goodness queen just barely stayed alive it's okay it's okay I would just keep telling myself that it's okay. Oh no! I should have used the a safety headhunter more. Back and we still have the warning ability though. That's that's nice. I'm not sure if that's going to be enough. Warning ability now as we're going through the bomb tower. Oh no! I mean that was a little bit greedy <laughs> going from the other side of the base. There is still there is still hope. There is still a dream being alive. Come on, take down the monolith, take down the monolith, come on. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, champ, bit it. No. Monolith did not, did not go down, but we get the stun on the town hall. Come on, take it down, take it out. Second star, second star. <laughs> Please. Yeah, I mean, it was never, it was never any problem. Okay, I think we, we might have taken a little bit too much risk on this one. And it had actually gotten quite close. It, it was it was quite close in the end, but it's not going to be a three star on this one. I'm not sure if I can blame the the changes I did. So we will try just again and see if we can identify any good or bad things about my changes I did to the strategy. And as I said earlier, if you like to watch anything specific, like any different strategies, let me know down below in the comments. Because as I said, I want to like keep doing those videos over the legend season. And um, if you prefer any other strategies, let me know so I can use them in Legends so you have some hopefully great videos. And if there's not that many using Queen Shore Super Hybrid, I feel like those videos are not really getting you anywhere. So that's just over my point. Let me know down below. But for now, let's find another base to attack. Okay, we have... Well, is that a... I don't know what type of base, how I would call this. Is this a teaser base? Is this a box style base? I'm not even sure. What is this type of base? Like, how would you call that? Hmm, not sure. Either way. So what do we do? I mean, this air defense right there is looking quite annoying, but it should be hopefully okay. Um, We could charge in. Yeah, let's just try to go in from here. Wall break here. Healers. And then try to trigger that poison tower. That's nice. That's nice. Okay, we have to rage here. Please don't. No. Ah, oh, come on. It was too late. Oh, that kind of sucks, but it's okay. We would make that work. Air defense taken care of. That's good. Baby dragon right here. Come on, take down the ground expo and then go for the bomb tower. That would be nice. Let's double check if there's any black mines. Nice. Okay. So we have to free. Oh, actually, we can already wall break. Yes, connection has worked. So next step is going to be freeze the invisibility tower as soon as my queen is going for the town hall. Next step, then hybrid from the bottom side, all in, full yolo. Let's go. Get ready. Nice. Now the king barracks. Like this. Yo. Another wall breaks. Okay, that wall break did not go. But we have more wall breaks now. That's good. 
Another wall break. Yes. Great. Let's see. Warden. Warden, please follow. Okay, all of the Augurites are dead because my Warden is an old man and not following. It's okay. This is bad. Warden Bleach now. Yo. Oof. Put this work. Queen is down. Heaters are down. Not good. They have one headhunter for the defending king. Mm. Come on, come on, push, push, push. You got this, troops. You got this. We have still the phoenix. We have still the phoenix. Let's use wizards on this side. Okay, the one wizard was a bit too close. This should work. And I think all of the changes we did were quite massive. So we have used the additional wall break. We had great use of our king, right? Yes. So I think all of the changes we did to the strategy were quite successful. So overall, I think the, twe the tweaks we did were really nice, were really, really good. Um, but yeah, that's, that's it. Let me know, as I said already earlier, what strategies you would like to watch me using in Legends. And I will see if I can do that. And obviously if I want to play them as well as uh, I want to have some fun in Legends and trying out really weird strategies is not the goal. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know your opinion down below in the comments. I will see you guys tomorrow again. Under then, see ya and bye bye.